Hi, I'm Beck Mackey. So you've been trying to come up with ways that you can generate a bit of extra cash. You've got a spare room down the hall that's really just a junk room. You decide to clean it out, put it on Airbnb. Fantastic idea, but make sure you're aware of all the consequences of doing so. Nothing's bad, but you just need to be aware. So the income that you generate from your Airbnb is taxable, will need to go in your tax return. The expenses that you have in relation to that Airbnb bedroom will be tax deductible. They're things that relate directly to that room, such as uh, cleaning of the room, um, any food or gifts that you might provide for your guests. When it comes to the other expenses for your property, things get a little bit trickier and we need to start apportioning them. So that's things like electricity, um, water, that sort of thing. They need to be apportioned based on what how much of the property is rented out, how much of the property is shared, and how much of the property is private. So that's all not too bad. Doesn't sound too difficult, does it? But the next thing we need to consider is capital gains and how renting out this room is going to affect your capital gains tax exemption for your main residence. What people aren't always aware of is that the capital gains tax exemption cannot cover the portion of your house that's being rented out. So when it comes to keeping your records, you need to be very detailed so that it's easy for us or your accountant to determine what portion of your capital gain is now going to be taxable to you. Um, the 50% discount will still apply, but unfortunately you will have some capital gains tax consequences. This is very different, of course, to if you rented out your entire property, be it on Airbnb or directly through an agent. Because you're no longer in the property, you do have the full main residence exemption there. So uh, that's just a couple of points to be aware of. Thanks. Have a great day.